Welcome once again to the channel everyone and to this video about Absolute Tactics. Absolute Tactics is a tactical RPG indie game developed by Curious Fate and published by Akupara Games, and it is available on both Steam and Nintendo Switch. But what is it exactly? Is it any good? Should you play it? Let's find out. Absolute Tactics is just that, a tactics turn-based RPG where you go from one scenario to the next using your character's unique abilities to defeat varied and interesting enemies, all while following a decent enough story. The tactical combat is on par with most other games in the genre, though with its own quirks that bring out its own unique style. Moving and attacking all work as you would expect from a tactical RPG, along with the extra damage for attacking an enemy from behind. Each character's weapon functions differently, allowing them to attack multiple enemies in a line, as in the case of Arkin, only single targets in the case of Huxley, or up to three enemies a space away in the case of Kali. This variety spices up the gameplay and makes you think more carefully about who you move, when, and where, as you cannot move through your allies in this game, so positioning plays an important role in maximizing your combat effectiveness. Some enemies, too, have unique attacks and behaviors to learn, like the enemies that explode the turn after being defeated, or the dragon needles that only become vulnerable when you move next to them. There are also enemies who will summon bombs or turrets that you will have to contend with as well. I'm about six story missions in, along with having played all the side missions available so far, and have already seen a good deal of variety in enemies and tactics. The real draw of the game, though, is in the character customization, with the different weapon, armor, and especially class kits that you can equip each character with. Each character can equip up to two class kits, which, along with the weapon, helmet, and armor kit you equip, can vastly change the way a character plays. Do you want a cleric-type character with high survivability? Use the Oracle and Warrior kits. Want a debuff master? Use Entomologist and Breaker kits. I use this system to change Huxley from a fighter with strong physical attack to a sorcerer with high skill attack who recharges HP and SP every round. This system is one of the best customization systems I've seen as it lets you change every character into something different by simply kitting them out differently, which allows you to create a truly unique team of adventurers and play the game exactly how you want to. <laughs> Visually, the game is quite striking. At first I wasn't sure if I liked the art style used, but it's growing on me. The large character models allow for a lot of detail and for some pretty cool looking enemies. The large models also make it easy to tell what's going on on the map at any given time. The environments too look really good and draw you into the world. A lot of love was put into the art in this game, and you can tell. The music is appropriate as well for an epic fantasy adventure and, like the art, helps draw you into the world. But, there is one major problem I have to point out though. As much as I do enjoy Absolute Tactics, I ran into a nearly game-breaking bug in the Switch version and I almost gave up on the game. On what I believe is the fifth story mission, you have your first run in with Dragon Needles. To kill these, you have to move a character next to them so that they become vulnerable to attack. Well, in the cutscene at the beginning of this level, you are introduced to these by one popping up and killing an enemy soldier. That particular dragon needle becomes bugged and unkillable, but it has to be killed to complete the mission. If you move next to it, it still pops up and will still attack you, but the game won't register it as an enemy and allow you to hit it. In fact, you can move your character on top of it, which you shouldn't be able to do, and then it will stop attacking. This was very frustrating. So I quit the level, played through it again to where that dragon needle was, and the same thing happened again. I finally got around this bug on my third attempt by skipping the opening cutscene. This allowed that particular enemy to function properly, and I was able to complete the mission. I looked at the developer and publisher's websites and couldn't find a place to report bugs. Hopefully this is unique to me and others haven't had this problem, or the developer will patch it soon. I did see that a patch is planned for both the Steam and Switch versions, though the game's website did not say what would be in that patch. 
So fair warning, if you're thinking of picking this one up on Switch, you may have to contend with this bug. I haven't played the Steam version, so if any of you have, let me know in the comments if you've run into anything similar in that version. All that said though, my first impressions of Absolute Tactics is, yes, you should play it if you're a fan of the genre, with the caveat of maybe waiting until the first patch comes out. I was able to get around the one bug I found relatively easily, but it was still something that shouldn't have been there, and very frustrating. Otherwise though, the gameplay is great and unique, and the class kit system really brings a lot of variety to the gameplay, and allows you to change your playstyle on the fly, which I really enjoy. The art, story, characters, and music all bring with them a lot of charm, that also makes this game feel unique and different. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like and let me know if you want to see more videos on Absolute Tactics. Also, we just hit 500 subscribers on the channel and I want to thank everyone that has subscribed and been following the channel so far. You guys are awesome, thank you so much. I will be doing a 500 subscriber special soon, so stay tuned for more info on that. If you want to see more of my content, you can watch this video here, and as always, thank you for watching, and keep on gaming. One step at a time.